Welcome to Supply Chain Short Takes, a brief discussion with an industry expert on important issues affecting supply chain management. I'm Dave Maloney, the Group Editorial Director of DC Velocity and Supply Chain Exchange. Joining me today is Ron Roth. Ron is Business Development Manager with Regal Rexnord. He has more than 25 years of key account management experience, having spent the last nine years in industrial conveying applications. In his current role, Ron has primary responsibility for several of Regal Rexnord's largest ModSort integrator partners. Welcome, Ron. It's good to have you with us today. Thank you, David. Glad to be here. Ron, for those not familiar with Regal Rexnord, can you share a bit about your company and its role in the supply chain industry? So Regal Rexnord is a, a, a group of companies that were once individual uh, brands in the powertrain solution, uh, powertrain products. We provide uh, gearboxes, motors, bearings, technology used in automation of uh, automating the uh, dis distribution centers, parcel industry, um, e-commerce industry that's evolved here recently. Uh, we, we offer a broad range of products in our portfolio to, uh, to turn uh, power into motion. And obviously that's a very needed thing within supply chains today. And we're here to talk today about last mile sortation, also known as the final mile. Can you describe what is actually meant by last mile sortation? So last mile, if you think about the, the manufacturing process, uh, products are produced. That's where the, uh, the first mile occurs. Uh, and then as products move through the supply chain to the end customer, that final mile is uh, getting that product from its destination, uh, from, a, from a retail store to that end user or consumer. Uh, that final mile has changed dramatically over the past uh, 10 years as the... Uh, as uh, technology has evolved, e-commerce has evolved. Uh, so the store down the street is not necessarily where the, 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 the final mile starts. It may start across the country uh, with the manufacturing process and then that customer uh, purchasing direct from a manufacturer. Uh, so getting that, that package to the end customer is that final mile where the last sort takes place to getting it to the, into the hands of the consumer. You're certainly right that that has changed in the last couple of years. And what is it about that final mile that makes it particularly conducive to automation? Well, when you look at uh, that final mile, it's always been a very manual process. Uh, when you look at the post office, when you look at the retail stores, you may have a uh, buy online, pick up in store. You have carts moving around these stores where people are, are doing purchasing for for clients. Uh, labor is always a challenge in many of these applications. As businesses grow, they need to, to uh, hire more people, but hiring more people and labor shortages are challenges that, uh, that push us into automating uh, to make the work experience easier for the workers to augment their labor, uh, and then also to enable the companies that are in that uh, business to, to grow and, uh, and pursue new growth opportunities. Ron, what criteria do facilities need to think about when they're automating the last mile? When you're automating the last mile, you wanna think about, uh, you know, the, the kind of look at it from a holistic view. You can look at different pieces of that final mile, be it automating, sortation, be it pick and pack. Uh, you know, the, the whole solution really needs to be looked at its entirety and what is needed based on, on a client specific needs. So oftentimes a consultant will come in, evaluate their needs and help them to make the, the automation and select automation that's appropriate for, for their particular task that they're looking to accomplish. When you look at it holistically, it gives you the ability to expand and, and spend funds appropriately. Rarely are you gonna see automation be implemented completely all at one time. Usually it's gonna be done in, in various segments and in pieces. So you wanna do things uh, you know, from either a storage process, uh, an inbound receiving process and an outbound uh, shipping process. So you got multiple areas where, where things need to be looked at. You wanna consider 
real-time tracking and, and where is that package in the system? When customers place their order online, they want to know where their package is. That communication and being able to tell the customer when they can expect delivery uh, is an important piece of that final mile as well. And of course, Regal Rex Nord manufactures the mod sort technology to help with all of this. It has a capacity of moving 300 feet per minute or about 400 packages per minute. Why are those rates ideal for final mile automation? So the rates that uh, that we work within are are intended to be worked uh, at, at a pace where where workers are present uh, in in large industrial distribution centers. The technology that's been deployed historically uh, is very high speed. Conveyors can move at 600 feet per minute, uh, but they're not really safe for workers to be working next to. So that final mile, there's workers present. Uh, you have safety considerations. So having a product that is uh, approachable and can be uh, implemented easily. Uh, and also you wanna have technology that can be scalable and flexible because rarely does the business stay the same uh, from week to week or even day to day. So having solutions that can be expandable and uh, flexibility are, are two, uh, two other elements that ModSort can deliver. Those are good benefits. Do you have any examples of some success stories, such as times that you saw the automation of the final mile really make a huge difference in the operations of a facility or, or positively impacted that facility? We've had uh, clients where they uh, were processing packages on, on, a, on a manual uh, stage. The issues that they were encountering were uh, the accuracy and throughput wasn't, uh, you know, meeting the needs of the business. So when they expanded with ModSort, we were able to work with one of our integrator partners. We implemented a solution that delivered for them. Uh, it was roughly 3,000 packages per hour that the uh, that they needed. We were able to scale up and, and develop a solution that uh, enabled them to hit their growth targets and uh, do it efficiently without the uh, addition of additional labor or uh, without the maintenance uh, required uh, to maintain the equipment as well. One of their key criteria was they wanted a low maintenance uh, type of technology because they don't have a maintenance team in their facility. So having something that was uh, user-friendly for them to work with and have their associates working right alongside the equipment, yet make the uh, the the rates and fulfill the orders that they needed to uh, in a timely manner. They uh, we we developed that solution with uh, one of our integrator partners several years ago. Yeah, that that's great to hear. If someone wanted some more information about the technologies that we discussed today, how could they find that? Uh, you can go to our website, uh, regalrexdoor.com. Uh, you can use a search engine and enter ModSort, and uh, you can find us several different ways there. And ModSort is spelled M-O-D, capital S-O-R-T, all one word. Correct. Right. Well, thank you, Ron, for being with us today. We've been talking with Ron Roth of Regal Rexnord, and this has been Supply Chain Short Takes.